Good morning, everyone. This is Troy Smurl. I'll come back at you with yet another fast food fave. And today on the docket, we are going back to ba -da -ba -ba. Sonic. And yes, I did go back to Sonic. I didn't. I, I swear I didn't just buy two uh, things for two separate videos, and I'm filling them back to back after changing my shirt that got dirty. You can't prove anything. You can't prove anything. Unless, of course, you could download this video and then see the timestamp. I don't know. Is that a thing? I I don't know tech, okay? Anyway, we have two special items today that are both favorites of mine from the immeasurable Sonic hot dog or whatever franchise, drive-in franchise. The chili cheese fries and ocean water. Now, what is ocean water? Ocean water is a... Well, okay, so the first thing you need to know is that Sonic has a variety of, like, special mixed drinks that they do. I think their most famous one is Cherry Limeade. My personal favorite is this one. Ocean water. Mm. A lovely mixture of coconut, or, I believe, orange, and, I don't know, some, probably a lot of blue food coloring, because I just noticed that the blue stain got on the, uh, straw here. Ugh. It does have such a very tropical vibe to it, too. It tastes so good. Hold on, uh, let's see, do I have a fork nearby? Oh, please don't make me go get a fork. I gotta go get a fork. If they didn't provide me one of those bastards, then, like, I'm not such a slob that I'd eat chili cheese fries bare, bare knuckle like an, like an absolute garbage monster. I'll be back in a second. I'm back. I got my fork. I was about a little thing for show and tell. So my grandma Cindy ha loves to do themes for gifts. And this year, the theme was uh, vehicle safety. You see, she, she, she remembered a traumatic incident that happened to one of her cousins years and years ago. Where he got, like, you know, sent over the, sent over, sent over the curb in a car and was, you know, basically stuck in it because it was upside down and stuff. So... She gave us, or, and, she, you know, she also worries about, like, you know, starving or freezing to death or even de dehydration, you know, or dying of thirst in cars. So she gave us all thermal blankets, uh, <coughs> tin mugs with candles and matches, uh, like, emergency supplies, and this little bit, <laughs> Diddy, a window breaker seatbelt cutter. Which, it's weird that they just sell these things, because, like, what's to stop, stop someone from using this to break into a vehicle? You know, like, there's not alarms on the cars, but it's, it's the, uh, you know, it's a very lovely I idea, you know, she's trying to make sure that we're safe. And yes, I will be putting this in my glove box. Actually, not my glove box, it's stapled shut, uh, because... The, because the, uh, mechanic I go to thought it'd be easier just to, you know, psh, screw it shut than actually fix it when it broke. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Ugh. Why do they put the chili cheese fries in a long vessel like this? Um, so there are two main places you get chili cheese fries um, that are chains. Sonic and Wendy's. Now, why do I think that Sonic has a better chili cheese fries than Wendy's? First and foremost, it's not as salty. Wendy's, Wendy's chili cheese fries is very salty. And I'm, I already have enough problems with my blood pressure, thank you very much. Um, also, I, like, 
the, these kind of fries just soak up the chili sauce too. It's, you know, it turns it into kind of a congealed mass. Um, like, like I said, this is fork food. This is not, this is not, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. What do you call it? Um, oh, this is not finger food. Um, I remember one time my brother got us all Sonic, and, um, since he got it, since he paid, I had to be his sauce bitch, as he put it. Not to be crass, but that's literally what he called me. Basically, I had to put, I had to dip the cheese, the, the cheese balls in the ranch sauce and put them in his mouth for him while he was driving. Not that I minded. Because he, he forgot to, he forgot to make me make good on that promise, too. Ooh. Very lovely, very lovely. Um, I like the ocean water because it, like, it kind of does taste like what your brain thinks of when it thinks of, like, oceans. It's a little salty. It's got coconut flavor. It's got, like, a very tropical feeling to it. Like, if you were to actually go into the ocean, it, it, would, it would taste terrible. But ocean water tastes like how I, how my brain wants to see the ocean. Beautiful, majestic, sparkling blue. And, like, there's a little salt in there, I think. Not a lot, just enough to, like, you know, kind of tingle your taste buds. Hmm. Also, another reason why the chili from Sonic is better. No beans. Like, objectively, it's a worse chili. Um, it's clearly canned, but because I'm that idiot who doesn't like beans, it tastes better to me. Also, Wendy's chili always tasted like the chili you get at school. Um, you know, you at school you'd get a bowl of chili, some carrot sticks... And a cinnamon roll. Oh, and a, and a little pack of saltine crackers. I would dip the carrot sticks and saltines in the chili, then throw away most of it. Because I didn't... Because, like, I was su such a picky kid that I wouldn't, um... That I wouldn't eat canned chili. I'd just eat, eat some of the broth from it. Apparently some people actually dip their dip their uh, cinnamon roll in the chili, which, no, no. I mean, like, I, I can do, I, I like some sweet and savory things, but not, not like that, man. You know, like, the flavors still have to pair well together. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not sure if this is a cheese sauce or just American cheese, but it's good. Mm. And like, yeah, I know that that's just basically Wolf's chilies, Wolf's chili on their chi on their uh, fries, with some Kraft singles thrown on top, maybe. But you know. For a fast food chili cheese fry, that is really good. It's pretty equitable what you'd make at home too. Like, <clears throat> no one's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm I'm going to gars I'm going to get all gastro gastro gastronomical on here. I'm gonna make a 
really good, like, you know, authentic chili with real goat, or, you know, with, like, goat and, um, well, mutton, I guess I should say, and, you know, pobl smoked poblanos or whatever. No, 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 you're using a can of Wolf's chili and some shredded cheddar with, you know, whatever frozen fries you find at Walmart. <coughs> I always wanted to do seasoned fries with chili cheese fries, but honest, looking back on it, it probably would suck. Because it'd be way too much salt, like I said. Mm. And like, while the chili cheese fries was a bit of a pull for me, it, this was more an excuse to get this. I'll be honest, I originally went there because the fast food fave I wanted to highlight from them was the Chicago dog. But they don't have the Chicago dog anymore. Oh, it sucks so much. I don't want a Coney dog. I want a Chicago dog with the neon green relish and the whole pepper and tomato slices. No, it's a whole pickle on it, isn't it? It's either a peppercino or a pickle slice, I think. Or pickle spear, I mean. <sighs> Oh, talking about dogs makes me think I should spotlight Runza one day. A chain local to Nebraska that I used to go to as a kid. Because, you know, my mom used to work in Omaha. So, we'd go to the city, go to Runza. And uh, their kids' meals had either a little mini cheeseburger or corn dogs. And we always got the corn dogs. I also loved Runza because its mascot was a T-Rex. Hit me up, Runza. I, I, I'd love to try your... Uh, I'd love to try your weird Hot Pocket Burger things on camera. Because that was what they were no, most known for was... They, they had these special loose meat sandwiches where it was basically like a calzone almost. But it was a burger on the inside. So it was like, you know, it was... It was, uh, you know, it was like loose ground beef, ro like sautéed onions... Or whatever, just like inside a pocket. Kind of like uh, the McStuffins from um, McDonald's from back in the 90s. But I never had those because like I think they were from before I was born. I don't know. I, I was born in 93. Did they come out in 92? They might, they might have been after I was born, but I wouldn't have been old enough to eat them. Or at least, you know, I was eating chicken nuggets instead. Oh. Uh, the one problem with Sonic. Hit way too much ice in the cup. Listen to that. Like, what is this? A tiki drink? I didn't want it on the... You know, I didn't want it... I didn't want a slushy. I wanted a drink. Uh, I think the idea is you're supposed to let it melt and... You know, water down the flavors as over time. Mm. But... It, it's still really good. I think that'll be it for me today. I gotta go do... I gotta go do dishes. Y'all good on this is Royce Miller. I'm Audi.